Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain Why don't you sing along, my friend, for it's our last refrain Forever young, ever strong, ever brave Memories like this never end, no, they don't fade away So when I'm this morning simply because I was in at 9am it's Friday and I have like a full day of labs I've literally got nine to five maybe even six o'clock because apparently yesterday's group ran over and we've got like this like big sort of project thing for one of my modules the drugs of abuse and forensic toxicology one we did identification of a drug this morning as if it was like a real case and now we're going to be doing toxicology this afternoon I've just been to Cafe Nero for some lunch and now I'm heading back upstairs, gonna put my lab coat on and do the second part of the day. I'm already exhausted, um, but I'm sure I will let you guys know how it goes later on. So I finally left the labs after a long day. Uh, I'm just walking to meet Megan because we're gonna go treat ourselves to Toby Carvery. This was literally the longest day of labs in a, a long while. Like we ran over, I'm starving, like my stomach started rumbling out loud, it was so embarrassing. We're just gonna go to Toby Carvery now. Megan's been in the library for the last couple of hours doing her essay work, I think. So yeah, we're gonna go meet up, grab a Toby Carvery. It's very much needed. I haven't had a roast in ages and I'm craving it. Right. Hello everyone, back in my usual morning position at university. So I've had a bit of a hectic week being back at home. I've got to have the little spa break and stuff, um, which was a collaboration with um, buy a gift so if you haven't seen my London vlog and my spa break vlog whilst I was back at home I definitely recommend going and watching it because they were very fun little informative videos um, with one of my best friends Carrie we had such a lovely time um, yeah I'm glad to be back back in the swing of things yesterday I didn't properly vlog because I was literally in labs nine to five it was ridiculous um, we overran a bit as well so I was in there for so many hours on no breakfast I didn't have time to properly make or get myself a lunch um, and then me and Meg went to Toby Carvery and it took ages for us to be served so I was actually like starving <laughs> um, and I just wasn't in the mood to vlog after my eight hours of lab so the lab session was like really vital though because we basically got given like a solicitor's letter like lots of different documents and we had to determine um, a drug sample like we had to identify what the drug was and then we also had to analyze a blood sample of the suspect and determine whether there was like any influence of drugs or um alcohol in their blood while they were like driving or whatever it was i can't really remember the logistics of it to be honest because it's all a blur like it, i was just filled with so much information yesterday it was ridiculous but i've got all of my notes in my lab book i made like contemporaneous lab notes which is what we have to do in forensics like write down the time of what i did everything and what i did literally every single minor detail in case in court they bring up like what i did at a certain time or the exhibit bag or a serial number of a machine that i use like literally every single detail of every machine task action that I did is all in my lab notes so it's going to come in really handy because I'm going to have to write a lab report in the next few weeks I think it's due in beginning of December um, about yesterday's lab thing um, and it's 50% of my drugs of abuse and forensic toxicology module so it was very vital that I went yesterday and fully focused on that so I'm sorry I didn't vlog um, but I'm sure I'll be letting you know how the report goes over the next few weeks. Uh, it's been a bit of a difficult week to be fair like although I've been doing all these fun things that it looks like on my Instagram I can assure you that I'm going through a very very difficult time. Um, there are a variety of things that are happening personal things not specifically me but personal things in my life that are very very difficult at the minute and it's really hard to like put on a brave face and stay positive um but i'm having to do that otherwise i think i will crumble and i really can't afford to crumble in third year which is such a shame but i can't mess up my last year now and it's just i just can't let the, my emotions get the better of me like it did last year at this time because it's so crucial that i just stay on track um, so yeah, just thought I'd give you a bit of a heads up. Please try not to judge 
me because I'm a little fragile flower at the minute. I'm getting very overwhelmed with the amount of work and then all of these personal pressures. However, I am striving. I'm trying to push through it all. I feel like I'm coping with it quite well at the minute. So I'm going to say at the minute very lightly because I feel like I could crumble at any minute. But um, for me, my personal coping mechanism is to just work, 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 which probably in the long run is not ideal because I'm going to have burnout. But if I just get through this next month and a half until Christmas and then collapse, I'll be happy because I just want to make sure all this work is done to the best of my ability. And if I keep working and keep staying busy, then I won't have time to overthink about all these situations that are going on. So yeah, just a heads up that even though my Instagram, my YouTube videos, my social media platforms might look like I'm having the best time of my life. I am still going through real life problems, real life struggles that are very, very damaging to my mental health and I'm just pushing through it. Just, I thought I would clear that up because I never, ever, ever want anyone to think that they can't relate to me, that I'm living like my best life, I'm the happiest I've ever been. Um, because although I have moments when I'm super happy, there are so many underlying issues in my life that are always going to be there um, and everyone else, again, is also going through these similar problems. We're all going through different things in life. Um, depending on our backgrounds and how we've been brought up and different bits and pieces um so yeah i just thought i'd do this little message to be like please don't judge and judge me or anyone that you see because you have no idea what is going um on behind closed doors so yeah lots of bits to do so me and meg have booked four hours in the library consecutively uh, to go and do some work. Meg's working on her essays. Um, if you've been watching the uni vlogs, you'll know Meg's got, I think she got hit with like three essay titles in one day. So she's like cracking on and on and on so she can get them done or most of them done before Christmas. Um, and for me at the minute, as I've just done my assessment, I am now moving on to lots of dissertation work, dissertation preparation. I'm not fully writing it yet. Like I know lots of different universities start dissertations at different points in the year. Um, for me, we start our dissertation in the new year. So after I come back, I will do my exams. I only thankfully, thankfully have one exam when I come back in January. I usually have four squished into one week. It is so intense. Um, but thankfully, I only have one exam in January. So I can solely focus on revision over Christmas just for that module. And then I get cracking on with my dissertation stuff alongside three new modules. Our forensic applications of biological specialisms that covers over the two semesters so that carries on i've got a fire explosives and nuclear forensics module and what else i think i might just have my dissertation module then i'm not entirely sure but i'm just on edge there's so much to do i'm going to work on my dissertation stuff today i'm going to do some reading and um note taking and things for two hours um all on my dissertation stuff and then for the next two hours i'm going to prepare for my guatemala poster that presentation that i've got in december before i finish for christmas until all my chemistry report thing gets released and then i'll have to do that on top of it too so <sighs> wish me luck megan is just making doing a little instagram story of her cafe nero Christmas the cat. <laughs> so me and meg are just walking to the library Ooh. for a little day sesh did i catch you in the background doing that, it is that Oh, that's Does cute. My hand look horrible? No, <laughs> no one's gonna look it at like that. Looks like turkey. No one's gonna, <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna look at your hand. Like all I know, it's really busy in town. <laughs> all I know, that's all I know. Yeah, me and Meg are just heading to the library for another day, day sesh. Got my new warm coat on from Pull and Bear. Meg just took some outfit photos for me, and it was really awkward because it was it's like so busy in town, like people are constantly, constantly walking. Meg just got her little hot cocoa. It's not. I know, it's a vanilla <laughs> latte, but cocoa sounds cuter. With oat milk. With oat milk, yeah, we've booked a room, so hopefully <clears> there's no one in there that we have to kick out because it's always a bit I'm awkward. Ready for an argument, so. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. this happened the other day and me and Hat were running on my camera. <laughs> There's a congress on the bridge. Dot, what does congress mean? Uh, I'm like the American <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Wait, I said that's a congress, Wait, it's just a group of people. Okay. Oh, it's an open day maybe. Oh, yeah, there seems to be a lot of like, the yeah, there seems to be a lot of like parents and children, not I'm children, holding hands. Children, <laughs> it's young you adults. Know, I can't.
just come into town, had a little bit of a shopping spree because we got really like men in construction. Yeah, we got really bad in um, at doing work. I don't know what it was. Doing work. Oh yeah. We just didn't really feel it, so I think we're gonna try again tomorrow. We've like booked some rooms for tomorrow, so it should be okay. Um, but yeah, we just bought some stuff in Boots and Wilco, which I'll show you when we get back. Um, we're just heading back now. I think we might do some, I'm, well, I'm gonna do some scrapbooking this evening. I don't know about you. I printed loads of photos off before summer and then I just haven't done anything with them. So I'm gonna get those in. Yeah, this is horrible. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, hats at home, just in case anyone was curious about my whereabouts. Um, we've just been watching Sophia and Chintzia's really long ass video. Um, and we're halfway, we just got over halfway through, but we just thought we'd do a little haul intermittently, just as a little break. <laughs> I'll just see what comes out. So, we popped into Wilco. I got a dog advent calendar for Barney, because when I went home last week, well, this week, um, I whispered in his ear, telling him that I'd get him um, some Christmas presents, including an advent calendar, so I got him that from Wilco. This was only two pounds as well, which is, I think is a bargain. Um, then I also got a stocking for Barney too. It's got like loads of like of the pedigree branded treats and things. It's got the rodeo jumbo and tasty bites and dentist sticks. He loves a dentist stick. Um, what else? And I got him a little <laughs> a Christmas squeezy ball, which I know he's gonna love. I wanted to get him loads of like cute little teddies, but I know he's gonna like chew all of the fluff and it'll just make him really ill. Like, He's got a really sensitive stomach since he's had his operation, so he gets really ill quickly. Megan got the Satin Care Dry Skin Shave Gel and then some cotton pads. And Meg also got some orange juice with bits. That's lag. If you don't like bits, you're fucking Ugh, I don't like orange juice regardless. Okay, fair enough. I don't like bits or cotton. If you prefer smooth over bits, you'll. I don't like either. <laughs> um. Then I got the Lloyd Grossman tomato and chilli sauce. Oh, Meg also bought a ceramic bowl from Wilco. Mm. These eye patches are kind of hurt. Right? Oh, boots, sorry. Rimmel Stay Up Powder and the Collection Lash Surge Full Effect Mascara. There you go. That was quite random, the mascara, but I remember having it ages ago. Um, I needed some new concealer, so I just took advantage of the three for two offer on Rimmel and got the, um, it's not even Wake Me Up anymore, is it? But it's in that really? old Wake Me Up packaging, I've just realized. It's called Rimmel London Lasting Radiance Concealer and Eye Illuminator. Basically Wake Me Up. Yes, yeah, so it's basically the Wake Me Up, but I'm assuming like a better and proof formula, I don't know. Um, but I decided to get two because it was three for two. And then I also got my favorite foundation at the minute um, from the drugstore, which is the Rimmel Lasting Finish. Skin Perfecting Full Coverage Foundation. It's so full coverage. Like, I'd expect this to be a high-end foundation formula. Um, and I got True Ivory, because it's like my sort of pale-ish shade. Because my one's about to run out, so I thought I might as well pick all those little things up. And I haven't bought anything from the drugstore in ages, so I was kind of excited. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna sit and watch Sophie and Gypsy's vlog. Then probably make, some, probably make some dinner. Yeah, all the Wilco stuff. A couple of things from Tesco. And then I might do some scrapbooking whilst you watch Strictly. Oh my god, we've got 17 again on DVD, okay.